Good morning, oil traders. It is Friday, July 27th at 9 a.m. We're half an hour out from markets open here on the East Coast in North America. And uh, volatility continues today. Um, yesterday was EIA inventory news, um, and that's what you see here just uh, right of my notes page here. Uh, we had this huge amount of volatility um, as uh, the bulls and bears fought it out. Ultimately, the bulls won the day, and uh, we climbed um, and almost made it to 49 in, in uh, overnight or uh, in Asia and European market uh, trading. Um, I think it was actually right at the European Open at 3 a.m. that uh, we made the push to almost 49 and then uh, battled with it again um, in and around 6 a.m. Eastern. Um, ultimately at um, approximately 7 a.m. we tanked. Um, we dropped from a high of uh, what was it? High of 48.89 to a low of 48.37, and we've gotten as low as 48.27. Um, as you can see right now, if I uh, zoom in here, um, we're making the uh, the climb back up um, to the mid 48s. Um, as you know, yesterday I purchased at exactly where we are now, 48.55. Um, and I continue to be bearish. Um, as you know, my portfolio is uh, predominantly bearish um, with an 80% bear, 20% bull position at the moment, um, mostly because I've been adding to the bear position, but also because I sold, um, of course, too early, <laughs> um, one of my long positions um, before news um, this week. So where are we going today? Um, no idea. Um, it could still really go either way. Um, right now we're sitting in the red by about 20 cents on crude. Um, our closing was at 48.75. Um, so anything below that is red. And as you can imagine, um, getting over that 48.75 will probably um, be difficult. Um, it'll, it typically is um, going from red to green or green to red. So. I would, I would say it's more than likely that we're going to go down or at least stay below and stay in the red today. Um, but that being said, if the bulls have it in them, we could see over 49 today. Um, you know, there, it's all speculation. Um, believe what you want to believe. Um, I'm a bear. So if we do make it over 49, I'll be adding to my short positions um, because I expect the turnaround to be soon. Um, Keep in mind that I do have a long position that is growing in profitability as we do go up. And I've been holding that long position. If we flip to over to my portfolio page on tradingjournal.ca, um, you can see that I've been holding that, let me do a refresh here, um, holding that long position for just shy of 99 days. Um, so it's been a while and getting having the opportunity to cash out of that position, um, you know, I have. I have no qualms about taking that opportunity. Um, but overall, I'm bearish and I think we're going to see you know, the lower 40, at least 44, if not 42, uh, before we see 50. That's my personal feeling and that's how I'm playing this. Um, you have to believe in something in order to buy or sell, right? So that's my feeling. If we do drop um, on the on the flip side, then I'm going to be looking to sell at least one short position um, for profit. Depends on how far we fall. So I think 47 is within reach today if the drop is significant enough. Um, if we, for example, end up closing where we are right now, then I'll probably not do anything at all and just wait it out. Um, actually, I should say I will almost certainly do nothing at all and just wait it out. Um, but that's my feeling. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind. You can uh, hit me up down below on YouTube in the comments forms or uh, over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, and results. Um, meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys towards end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern. And uh, good luck. Cheers.